It's my pleasure to welcome and introduce our speakers, uh, Sophie Plazanet and Arnaud de Magard. Sophie is an MBSC specialist. She worked in system engineering for several years, especially during those three past years in Thales land and air systems. She, she is passionate by MBSC and recently joined Thales Corporate Engineering as MBSC coach, supporting the adoption of MBSC practices by Thales engineering teams. Arno is developer and Eclipse modding consultant at OBO. And after working on formal methods and code generation, he joined OBO three years ago, where he is now working daily on numerous modeling projects. And notably, he is one of the active committer on the Capital Workbench software stack. So thank you both to be with us today. And well, today we, we, you will present uh, a brand new toolbox for Capella. Uh, namely Python for Capella, enabling well a lot of a lot of things like uh, read information from a Capella model, export uh, information to Excel with query, or update information of the, so the model itself, and many more. So once again, thank you both to be with us, and uh, I'm letting you the floor. So thank you, Samuel, for this introduction. First, uh, we will present to you the needs. Then, the solution, we will have a quick demo and uh, the explanation to what are the concepts of interest and their relations. Then, Arnaud uh, will explain you the be expected benefits of Python for Capella, how it's built and how to use it. And we will conclude with uh, how to contribute perspective and open points and the question and answer sessions. First, what Python for Capella. It's based on three use cases, share information about architecture, especially with people uh, who don't access uh, Capella. It's also about secure the design by improving its quality. For example, perform analysis tasks concerning Capella model. And the third goal is the automation. For instance, update data, Capella elements, uh, for example, the name of the Capella elements. And for this, we need to have uh, several services. To analyze data, we need ex easily extract engineering data from the Capella model. And to update information, we need to easily modify the Capella model and import information into it. So, what is Python for Capella? It includes three uh, parts. First, a Python editor with assistant content. The, this new Capella add-on includes also uh, APIs to interact with Capella models, uh, the add-ons, the uh, environment, and also supporting tools, for example, Excel. And it also includes Python scripts. Uh, for, for example, we have uh, 70 uh, sample scripts available in GitHub. And it, uh, this script can export and import data to, for example, for Excel. So to put it in a nutshell, on the one side, we have Capella and add-ons. Uh, for the moment, it's PVMT and uh, Rack add-on. Python for Capella interacts with it and it also interacts with supporting tool, for example, Excel. Let's have a quick demo. Uh, I took the example of uh, in-flight entertainment system, which is quite traditional. And uh, uh, let's follow an imaginary system engineer joining the AFE development team. This project uses Arcadia method. So here, is uh, the different perspective uh, explanations on uh, Arcadia method. And here is a system engineer. And this system, uh, the system engineer has several questions. So what are the operational activities and the logical functions of the systems? Also, what are the main capabilities and associated functional chains? How is the progress uh, in terms of development? For example, what is the physical breakdown of the system with allocated functions? 
how can Python for Capella help to provide answers? These questions are related to behavior, purpose, and structure. So let's have a look with some video. First, this video. So I will uh, I will click to uh, run a script. This script lists operational activities in console. It's quite useful. We have a model name and the name of the several operational activities. After the operational activities, I can have a look uh, for system analysis and uh, the especially export mission capabilities, functional chains, and also their progress. You can see that the results are available uh, on Excel in the folder. Uh, I will have a look. So here you can see that there is the mission, the exported capability, and also uh, the progress in terms of uh, design, development, and validation. You can uh, also uh, look at the formatting, which helps the analysis. And here you can see the mission, the exported capability, but also the involved functional name. Now, uh, we have a look on the uh, Nover uh, video. And this video will explain you, you uh, how to list logical functions in console, like uh, for the operational activities. And it's quite useful because we see that there are quite a lot of logical functions and we need to rename it uh, to have a unicorn uh, prefix ID with number. So there is a script that uh, provides this. Uh, I will launch it. It's called rename logical functions. And uh, it's now getting existing ID and renaming. After it's uh, done, I will have a check with uh, the previous script to see in the console if it's okay. So we can see that it's okay. There are like around the 60 uh, uh, logical functions. We saw that uh, we can interact with camera models, but uh, to, for that, we need to know what are the concepts of interests and their relations. To which element from which types can I access from uh, a given element? For example, what are the relation between function chain and the capability? So we need a, a non-technical um, engineer-oriented uh, metamodel to uh, specify APIs and develop scripts, and also to identify the concept of interest and their relations. And this metamodel has been developed in Capella, thanks to Orient Personal from, from Thales and Space. So we can have a look on this Capella light metamodel here. So it's, uh, we can look in the documentation, which explain uh, uh, the, the goal, the Capella version, uh, how is defined, uh, how, how is used uh, this Capella like meta model. And we can have an overview of the concept, which are um, grouped in class. We can see, uh, for example, oh, sorry, we can see, for example, um, that um, there are uh, several classes, um, uh, for example, for Capella add-ons, uh, PVMT and requirement add-on. Also for logical architecture, for example. Let's have a look in a class. So here we can see the relations between, for example, diagram and Capella model. And now, uh, Arnaud will explain you um, how, uh, what can be generated uh, from this Capella Light Meta model. Uh, we'll... oh, so it's okay. 
Thank you. So, uh, Sophie presented you this uh, conceptual meta model, uh, which is developed uh, using Capella, directly into a Capella model. And this meta model uh, of all the Capella concepts is uh, used uh, to generate elements uh, used for the Python for Capella tool. Uh, so it's used to generate some the code for the Python API. It's also used to generate some documentation uh, for the meta model. Uh, this documentation is uh, generated uh, using uh, M2Doc and uh, stored into a docx file. Uh, which is available on the website of the, of the Python for Capella tool. Uh, it's also used in order to generate some uh, uh, tests and uh, document the test results. Uh, so Python for Capella, what will it bring for you? So Python for Capella is expected to be uh, easy to learn and to use. Uh, it's rely on the Python language, uh, which is well known, uh, which uh, rely on many, many uh, documents online. Um, it will provide some, the Python for Capella toolset will provide you some sample scripts that will help you start using the tool and uh, will be used as self-learning self -learning materials uh, for your own uh, script designs. It's potentially very powerful uh, because it relies on Python itself and the Python libraries and functions of the Python ecosystem. Uh, it's easy to share also uh, because Python scripts are scripts and so very portable and it's also very customizable. Uh, we provide a wide support for Capella versions uh, between uh, 1.4.1 uh, uh, and 5.1. These are the current available versions uh, for Python for Capella. Uh, how is built then Python for Capella? Technically speaking, uh, Python for Capella relies on the Ease uh, toolset, that is a set of plugins for, Cap for Eclipse. And uh, the Python for Capella uh, add-on provides a Java API, API uh, bridging uh, Python use and Java. Uh, so, uh, Python for Capella uh, provides also some technical libraries uh, to uh, set of uh, simplified operation in order to, uh, that will be used to define your own high-level scripts, and also this famous uh, simplified API for Capella, which is generated directly from the meta model. And it also, it also provides some uh, API for the requirements and PVMT add-ons. Uh, and uh, uh, additionally, on top of all this, uh, the user scripts that Sophie already uh, part of uh, presented uh, are uh, high-level user scripts uh, examples, and you will be able also to provide your own scripts. Uh, so let's go a bit deeper into these scripts and see how to how it really works. So. First, let's try to do some simple modification on existing scripts and in order to extract some information. So first, uh, well, first thing first, when you launch first time your Python for Capella after installing Python for Capella, uh, we recommend uh, some uh, additional tweaking, uh, which are first uh, adding the line numbers into your uh, your your text editors. And the second one uh, will be to uh, activate the development capabilities of your uh, Capella. This will be mandatory in order to get uh, the ability to execute your scripts. Good. Then let's start some modification. So we want to uh, list the logical components in the console and let's have a look at this, uh, this first script. So this first script defines this variable, stating the, the path to the uh, infinite entertainment system model. Uh, this path is used and uh, stored into a Capella model uh, element. This object, as you can see here, uh, has some documentation, embedded documentation, which is extracted directly from the Capella meta model and is included into the API. Okay. So we have this uh, Capella model, 
And we also have some uh, additional tooling that is inside the, uh, the Capilla API in order to get the various elements of the model. So this get system engineering element, this get system engineering method uh, will allow you to get the system engineering element from the Capella model. As you can see here, there is no documentation on this. This is an ongoing work and uh, will get uh, filled uh, in, uh, in time, hopefully. Uh, then we have this uh, uh, logical architecture, get logical component packages, and etc. So first, in this uh, list logical components in console uh, script, you have a use of the print uh, the print uh, method, Python method, that will display elements directly into the Capella console. So let's start this, uh, this script. Right click on the script, run as e script, and that's it. We execute this, uh, this first script. So let's go a bit deeper into this. Uh, let's export the value into an Excel file. So we want to export some capabilities and the own scenarios into Excel. So in order to do this, uh, in the example script, we rely on the OpenPyExcel uh, Python library. So again, we uh, we have this ARIRD file. We create a model, we open it, we get the system engineering element, and then uh, we set the, the path to the Excel file. Okay, directly using the the Capilla API, we can get the project, the folders, and uh, manipulate uh, all the elements inside the, the Capilla workbench. Uh, we create a, a workbook, which is an Excel element uh, of the OpenPy Excel uh, library. We add some element on this, uh, some uh, title and uh, and the columns, and then we get some content from the model. Get all content by type, and we take only the capabilities in the model. So for every capability, we just go through them, to these capabilities, and create a cell for every capability, and inside the cell, we add some uh, some content, which is the name. And for every capability, we get all the own scenarios, and again, we add a cell containing the name of the scenario. That's it. After that, we save the Excel file. We print some logging and then finally refresh the Capella platform here in order to uh, refresh the folder containing the output file and then it will be displayed correctly. So right click, run as a script. We start the script and that's it. We will have the result, which is the Excel file here. And we have the content of our, uh, so this is some raw content and you can add some uh, additional styling to your, your Excel files. Okay, so this is some first uh, simple modification on existing scripts. Then let's start to modify some models, go a bit deeper with the, uh, the Capilla API. So, uh, Sophie showed you the, this uh, auto name of a logical component and actor, but let's see how it works. So again, we load the Capella model. Uh, we get the system engineering. We set some prefix for logical components, logical actors, logical system. And then we get the IDs of these, of these elements. Okay. There is some code to get the log logical components and their IDs to store them into some variables. You can see again that we have some documentation for logical system, logical actors, which are uh, Capella elements and uh, Python API uh, classes. And then we have some uh, code that will modify the content of the model. Okay, so for each logical system, logical actor, logical component. Okay, but in order to be able to modify the model, the code that modifies the model need to be embedded into a transaction. So we need to start a transaction on the model, then add the code that will modify the model. Okay, this code, if something wrong happens, then we have this except clause that will uh, roll back the transaction, so cancel any modification on the model. And this, if everything is good, then we commit the transaction and modify the model. And finally, save the model. 
and finally print some uh, some login. Okay, and we know the. Uh, oh, let's have a look at uh, what is inside the client model. Okay, we have all our components. Right click, run as e script. We get the existing IDs. This is the same thing that uh, Sophie showed you just previously, and you see that okay, we have modified the the content of the model. Now let's have a look at uh, this one. Uh, we want to uh, import physical component from an Excel file. So create elements inside the model from the content of an Excel file. So uh, again, we rely on the OpenPy Excel export, uh, import a library. Uh, we uh, set the vari variables that are used, the uh, ARD file, the Excel file, Let's see, okay, we have some content on the file, we modify it, and we want to generate physical components with these names. Okay, the Excel file path is provided here, but it can also be provided using arguments to the script execution. We'll see after that how to do this. Okay, so by default, we will take the value, the default value. Okay, we create a model, we get system engineering, we get uh, the Excel file. Okay, uh, we load the Excel file. Okay, this is pure, uh, pure uh, Python here. Then we get uh, the content of our system. So we want to go into this physical component package. So let's have a look. We have a system engineering. Okay, this is the inflate entertainment system. We get the physical architecture. So here we use the Capilla API. We get the physical component package, which is this structure element. Okay, and we want to add the, the, the new physical component here. So for each row of the content of the Excel file, uh, we get every cell in the row, and then we create physical component, set its name, and add the physical component into the uh, the own physical components of the package. Okay, we embed this code into a transaction, which is really mandatory in order to do some modification. There is a, the rollback is still here, and the commit transaction in order to set the, the modification, and finally save the model. Okay, so let's execute this script. Perfect. Run as e script again to execute it. This is a default launching without any parameters. And we see that we have your all new uh, physical components that are created. So let's see how to modify the launch configuration. So right click run as, but this time we go to run configuration in order to provide the arguments. This is a default run configuration without any arguments. Okay, and the second one, which is already prepared, with the, the correct arguments. Okay. Just hit run, and then we execute the, the script and add the new elements. Perfect. So, we know how to, uh, to modify scripts, how to modify a model with already existing scripts. But let's start from scratch with to, to create a new script. So we are here in, a, in your Capella workbench. Uh, you hit right click new other and create a Python for Capella project. This project is already existing and will contain all the uh, necessary resources, so the sample scripts, but it will also contain the Capilla API, the PVMT API, and the requirement add-on API. So in order to create a new script, right-click on any folder in inside this, uh, this, fold this Python for Capilla project or another Python for Capilla project, new other, and in the PyDev section, hit on PyDev module. It's a module that we want to create. Just give it a name, and then finish. Okay, so we have a new script, and when you, you create your new script, then you have some templates that are preset in order to, uh, to not start really from scratch. 
So we have three uh, templates for now. The simple Python for Capoeira, which will uh, import the basic API, which are uh, the Capella uh, API and uh, the Capella platform API. The PVMT one, which will add the PVMT add-on and the requirements, which will add the dependency to the requirement add-on. If we start with a simple one, okay, we get this code. This is perfect, okay. And now we would like to do some modification on our, uh, our model. So let's create a transaction. Then we have some uh, autocomplete uh, on the on the editor, of course, but we uh, have added some uh, some templates of code. And here, for example, the transaction template, which will allow you to uh, to load the model, uh, get the system engineering, start a transaction, do really nothing here, and but it also includes the rollback and the commits. And then you can just directly run, run as a script and you get your uh, your script that is executed. Okay. So this is how to create some script using the templates. And uh, now another feature of the Python for Capella toolset is how to integrate script into your UI. So let's have a look at uh, the export selected elements diagram. Okay, this script uh, will export diagrams directly from an element selected in the model. So here on top of your of your e script of your on your uh, Python for Capella script, you have this magical header. The magical header allows you to define the name, some, some meta information for your script and some description, but also allows you to define some uh, integration points into the user interface. Here, for example, we define that this script can be launched directly from any capital element uh, in the conceptual, contextual menu, uh, including capital. And you see that we have this export diagram here. Uh, the menu uh, element inside the, the menu. Okay, and this is really this, uh, this script that is launched. Okay, we can launch it on any Capella element. So uh, this means that uh, we can go on another Capella element and then launch the script, the generation of, um, of uh, diagrams directly. And it will only include the diagrams that are inside this element. Okay. Now, let's try to, to modify a, a bit this, this uh, script and limit the use of the script only to physical components. So I just modify the script, save it, and then try to uh, launch the script. You see that it's not, not anymore available. Okay, but if you are on the couple element, then you have it. Um, let's try another kind of uh, integration to the UI. We have this list logical components in console a script that just lists the logical components. But we want to uh, to launch this script directly, let's say, from the console. Okay, so let's just integrate a new uh, a, a new magical header here in the script and say, okay, I want a a way to, inter to interact with this script in the toolbar of the console directly. Okay, it's possible. Then I save my script, and you see, okay, we have a new button in the directly into the UI. We just click on it, and then it's executed. Perfect. Okay, those are some uh, some elements that are available. Uh, some example of how to use uh, Python for Capella. Uh, there are many more uh, to, to, be, uh, to be done with this, uh, this, this uh, add-on. Uh, for example, you can inter interact with the system using the command line to don't have to launch uh, the Capella platform uh, UI. And uh, we have in this, uh, in this slide also some additional resources, some user manual, uh, some element on the eScript magic headers. And uh, also, of course, I uh, advise you to use the contextual help inside uh, Capella that also provides some information on Python for Capella. So Python for Capella is an open source uh, add-on. 
it's uh, it's held into GitHub on the Labs for Capella uh, rep uh, Python for Capella re repository. So this repository will contain all the content of the add-on. So it contains the simplified meta model. It contains the install instruction, the documentation. It also includes the docx uh, generated from the uh, Capella simplified meta model. And you can use this uh, GitHub repo in order to contribute uh, your scripts, to contribute some content. Uh, if you encounter some issues, do not hesitate to open issues also. Uh, and you can obviously contribute some code to the, to the add-on. Uh, this uh, add-on is released under the EPL2 license. Um, and uh, one additional thing is that uh, a new, uh, an addition has been done on the Capella forum, which is this scripting category. This scripting category uh, is here for you to share scripts, share issues, share questions, and discuss with the community, which we hope stop sharing and give the, the floor to Sophie in order for the, for the conclusion. Even open points. First, feel free to use this new add-on and also we need your contribution uh, so give us uh, feedback uh, share your script uh, uh, exploiting other python libraries you can also contribute uh, to python for capella with software developments and also uh, to fund over python for capella evolutions we identified some points uh, some open points uh, for example, the support of Capella 1.3. Also, uh, the enrichment of uh, the scripts, basic or advanced. Uh, we need also to extend APIs to support over add-ons. Uh, for the moment, it's RAC add-on and PVMT. Uh, we can improve uh, the meta model, uh, light meta model documentation and also completeness to address uh, more uh, more um, case so. and uh, also we can uh, have a better integration with Capella and Eclipse for example uh, to export data uh, to Eclipse tables and uh, I saw uh, quite a lot of questions about uh, modification of model and uh, how to import uh, some some elements. We need also to improve the modification of uh, of model and uh, especially between uh, uh, elements, uh, improve durations. So to conclude, uh, we have uh, on one side the capital add-ons. So what will be uh, the new add-on uh, supported by CapPython for Capella? And on the other hand, we, what will be the next supporting tool um, um, compatible with Python for Capel? Example, database, so on. Thank you for listening, Samuel. Thanks to you, Sophie, and thanks, Arnaud, for this presentation. Well, thanks for having me attending, and have a good day. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye.